I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about COVID, the vaccine, and pregnancy. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a double board certified reproductive endocrinologist and OBGYN, helping people build their families for over 15 years. And the last two years have been full of helping people through this pandemic. We are all collectively dealing with this COVID pandemic. Luckily, here we are kind of at the beginning of 2022 and things are starting to look a little bit brighter. You know, that's happened before. We've had lower cases and the new variants, and things like that. But all along, there have been questions surrounding COVID infection in pregnancy, COVID vaccine in pregnancy. And in the beginning, it was just so hard, so many questions, but now we are a couple of years into it. We've got some studies to really answer these big questions. Does a COVID infection impact pregnancy? How about birth defects? What about the vaccine? Should women who are planning to get pregnant get vaccinated or not? In the beginning, there were so many questions. Whenever there's a void in information and data, it allows for fear and questioning and it makes sense. It's so precious. And pregnant women were not included in the original vaccine trials. And that is typical for a lot of new interventions in medicine, but it really left a hole for my patients. You know, how do we know should we get vaccinated or not? In 2022, we now have strong recommendations from all medical professional societies that if you are planning to get pregnant, you should get the COVID vaccine. Of course, there are going to be exceptions. You should talk to your doctor, but that is a strong recommendation. And you should understand how we were able to come to these strong recommendations. Even though we have the strong recommendation from professional medical societies to get vaccinated, to decrease risks in pregnancy, Pregnant women are still some of the lowest groups of people in the United States to be vaccinated. Go to the CDC for the most updated numbers, but in the beginning of 2022, about 80% of people who are eligible for the vaccine have gotten at least one dose in the United States and over 60% have gotten at least two doses or are fully vaccinated, but only 40% of women who are pregnant have actually been vaccinated. Despite the fact that we know that getting a COVID infection can be associated with higher risks in pregnancy and that vaccination can decrease risks of severe disease in pregnancy, this message is still not getting to the people that need it. So what about a COVID infection in pregnancy? What do we know? I remember when we first started hearing about COVID, I was thinking to myself as a doctor, well, what does this mean for my pregnant patients? There are viruses that if someone gets infected while they're pregnant, it can impact the pregnancy a great deal. Think about Zika virus and the birth defects associated with Zika virus. The babies can be born with microcephaly, which is a small skull and small brain and lifelong neurologic issues. Think about getting infected with chickenpox. You know, we recommend to patients before they get pregnant that they get vaccinated for varicella, which can lead to chickenpox because if someone is pregnant and gets a severe case of varicella, they can be very sick in pregnancy. And if you get infected in your first trimester, it can lead to birth defects in the baby. Also rubella, that's German measles. We recommend that people get vaccinated to rubella before they get pregnant because if you get rubella or German measles in pregnancy, it has a higher risk of miscarriage. So there are viruses that we know that can impact both baby and mom in pregnancy. We know that pregnant women are a little bit more vulnerable to getting sick or getting viruses in pregnancy. So as soon as we started learning about this new virus, I started thinking to myself, are we gonna have another Zika situation? And some people actually stopped trying to get pregnant until they knew a little bit more about impacts in pregnancies. Not everyone, but it's a legitimate concern. In the beginning, when we didn't know, it was really scary. Now we have data that people have been pregnant and been infected with COVID when they're pregnant, and it does not seem to increase risk of birth defects in the babies. There are other risks in pregnancy, but that is something that is really reassuring. So what is happening if someone gets infected with COVID? 
when they are pregnant. Let's go through the data. One of the first studies that came out discussing the impact of COVID infection in pregnancies was published in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association in 2021. First author is Chen. It looked at data for women who came to deliver in about 500 different hospitals in the United States between March 1st, 2020 and the end of February in 2021. They gathered data on almost 900,000 women. 18,000 women had COVID in delivery. That's about 2% of the patients and the rest of the patients tested negative. There was no difference in C-section rate, but women who had COVID at the time of delivery were much more likely to be delivering preterm, five times more likely to be admitted to the ICU, 14 times more likely to be intubated in pregnancy and need mechanical ventilation, and 15 times more likely to die during their hospital stay. 24 women out of the 18,000 that had COVID died, that's about 0.1%, and 71 women died in the large population that did not have COVID, and that's less than 0.01%. It's horrible to think about anybody planning to deliver a baby and start their new life with this child and to not go home with them. And it's horrible to realize that the risk of maternal mortality is significantly higher with a COVID infection. More than one study shows this and studies in different countries, including Britain, China, really is showing a higher maternal mortality and higher ICU admission, more severe disease in women who are pregnant and get COVID. So we are seeing a true negative impact on getting COVID in women who are pregnant. But what about the vaccine? When you are planning to get pregnant and you're early in pregnancy or even during pregnancy, you want to do everything that you can to make sure that you and your baby are as healthy as possible. And when you have a brand new intervention, a brand new vaccine, it is normal to be hesitant and to want to have data before you make that really important decision. And I understand the caution in the beginning of this pandemic and the questions that my patients had. I was always very patient with them. We're learning, we're trying to understand, we're watching the data come out. And now we have the data, so let's go through it. One of the first studies to really try to answer the question, how about the COVID vaccine in pregnancy, was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in the summer of 2021. First author is Shima Bakura. This is data collected from a program looking at adverse reactions from the COVID vaccine. The data collection is called Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. And by the time this data was analyzed, over 35,000 people had entered this data collection. At the time of the data analysis, about 4,000 patients had been pregnant during their data collection and reporting on safety and adverse reactions to vaccine. And of those approximately 4,000 people who were pregnant, over 800 had completed a pregnancy. 86 had a baby, 86% live birth, and 14%, 13.9% of patients had a miscarriage. And this is consistent with miscarriage risk in general. One in four clinically recognized pregnancies will end in miscarriage. That's actually in the broader population. The risk of miscarriage is about 25%. Of course, you know, risk of miscarriage increases with age and with history of miscarriage. So I'm saddened that anyone had a miscarriage, but a miscarriage risk of 14% in this data collection is actually lower than the general population. And so it's just reassuring data that in and of itself, getting a COVID vaccine does not put you at higher risk of having a miscarriage. A more recent study looking at COVID vaccine and outcomes in pregnancy was published in the American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology. It's, it's called the Green Journal, it's, it's nickname came out in February, 2022. This is actually a collection of data from a hospital in London, looking at over 1300 pregnant women. 140 of these women got a vaccine in pregnancy, got fully vaccinated during pregnancy. The vast majority got the vaccine in the third trimester, 85%. And comparing the women who got the vaccine to other women who were not vaccinated around delivery, there was no difference between the patients who got vaccinated in pregnancy and those who did not. And they looked at different outcomes, no difference in stillbirth, no difference in fetal anomalies or birth defects, no difference in C-section rate or postpartum hemorrhage, no difference in ICU admission or neonatal ICU admission. So no increased risk of the 
moms being admitted to the ICU or the babies being admitted to the ICU if the patients got vaccinated. So this is a reassuring study that getting the vaccine in your second trimester, your third trimester does not increase your risk of poor birth outcomes or issues for the mom or the baby. But what about first trimester? There is a study that's trying to look at first trimester miscarriage after the vaccine. Published in October 2021, the New England Journal of Medicine, and the first author is Zausch, Z-A-U-C-H-E. Close to 2,500 people are included in the study getting the vaccination in the first trimester of pregnancy no increased risk of first trimester miscarriage compared to the general population. Another reassuring study about getting vaccinated while you're pregnant came out of Israel, published in 2021. First author is Wayne Stock. This included almost 4,400 women who were getting the Pfizer vaccine in pregnancy and looked at outcome compared to the general population. No increased risks of poor outcomes in pregnancies if someone got vaccinated in pregnancy. It is important to note that having a COVID infection in pregnancy increases the risk of stillbirth dramatically. There's a study out of Britain published in 2020 in the British Medical Journal. It collected data from over 192 research studies reporting on outcomes of COVID infection in pregnancy, and it showed a 22 times higher risk of stillbirth if with a COVID infection in pregnancy. So let's recap. We are still in a pandemic right now at the beginning of 2022. It seems like things might be getting a little bit better. Things are opening up. That's wonderful. But that virus is still here. And one of the best things that we can do to decrease the risk of severe disease, especially in pregnancy, is to get vaccinated. In this particular video, we reviewed all of the poor outcomes that can happen in pregnancy with a COVID infection. And you can decrease the risk of hospitalization, ICU admission, death, and stillbirth from a COVID infection by getting vaccinated. Of course, there's other wonderful things that you can do. You can wear a mask. You can really limit interactions in crowded places. You can take care of your health, which is really important. But getting vaccinated is something that is really, really important for decreasing your risk. I hope you learned something from this video. We have certainly learned so much in the field in the last couple of years about COVID and its risks in pregnancy and what the vaccine can do to benefit. Use these resources that I've listed here. Read the studies yourself. Go to the CDC website for more information. Go to Professional Medical Society pages, the American Society of Reproductive Medicine, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, the American Medical Association. There's a lot of information out there to help you make a decision. There's nothing like talking to your own doctor about what's right for you. But if you are pregnant or you're planning to get pregnant, the data really supports getting vaccinated as a way to improve your chances of a healthy pregnancy and delivery. So like this video if you learned something, um, comment with questions that you have, subscribe to this channel and stick around for more learning.